a full-size statue of Vladimir Lenin staring up at the sky, a bust of the former communist revolutionary standing nearby. These are just some of the exhibits on display at the Museum of Social Realism in the Ukrainian village of Frumoshikanova. It's the brainchild of a local businessman who decided to collect Soviet-era statues and transform this park into an open-air museum. There were many such monuments, hidden in bushes or abandoned parks or in haylofts, in motor depots or under fences. The process was very dynamic and we collected around 30 or 40 exhibits within two months. His passion began more than 10 years ago and the museum now has almost 130 monuments. The majority are of the Soviet leaders, Lenin and Stalin, but Soviet-era poets or statesmen are also on show. After the fall of the Soviet Union, statues of its leaders were toppled or removed. Two years ago, Ukraine banned all communist symbols in an attempt to break with its Soviet past but the law still allows such exhibits to be put on display in museums. But Alexandra has no nostalgia towards the Soviet regime because of his family's suffering at its hands. In 1946, 12 members of my ancestors were deported to Siberia, but they only reached Kazakhstan. And eight years later, only one girl came back. So what do you think my attitude is towards the Soviet regime? I look at this museum only as a part of the tourism industry, that's all. Most visitors understand that the museum doesn't glorify the Soviet era, but helps them analyze and accept their history. It doesn't matter if the regime was good or bad. It's our memory. That's what I think. Everyone is happy that Alexander is collecting these statues, when everyone around has been destroying them. Even in the negative sense, young people have to know them, because it's our history. Who was in charge of our country? How did they manage it? And why they were overthrown? Once claiming the pride of place in city centers, now they continue their life as tourist attractions. Just fun photo opportunities for visitors to create their own personal memories.